Welcome back. For people looking to do something fun for their holiday party this year, the secret might lie in how you pair your wine with your food. Chef Sean Fisher of Tastes from Encinitas is here with me this morning. Thank you so morning, much for you? being here. I'm you. great. Thanks yeah, for, uh, we're, you. we're definitely waking up with all this uh, wine and food, right? It's, oh, absolutely. it's time to get going. Let me turn um, this. Here why we go. don't we let you kind of uh, explain to our viewers this morning what Tastes is all about and why you're an expert in this uh, this whole uh, idea of pairing wine with food. It is a big deal, right? Well, we consider us to be such experts, but <laughs> lovers of food and wine. Uh -huh. And uh, we uh, are a restaurant in Encinitas. We uh, pour about 75 wines by the glass. Okay. Food to match. All the wines are paired. Each mm -hmm. and every dish that we do is paired with at least two or three uh, dish, uh, wines. Okay. Uh, the wines uh, are all picked uh, with the different uh, sauces, mm -hmm. different textures, things of that sort in mind. And then recently we've implemented a new uh, prefix menu. The prefix menu okay. has three courses, choice of two for each course, and a wine to match. All right, and how do you guys decide what wine goes with the food? I mean... I've been uh, studying wine for quite a few years. Okay. I've been a chef and studying wine and uh, uh, sommelier. Uh -huh. And I always saw that it would be a great thing to put the left hand with the right hand. Yeah. Put the right wine with the right food, and uh, it's been working. People okay. have been really enjoying it, giving people a chance to experiment around, right. have fun with food, have fun with wine, and feel safe about it. And I know you guys do a wine 101. We're going to get to that in a second, but first, let's talk about what you're uh, cooking up right here. What I'm cooking up, well, a couple of examples of what we're doing with the prefix menu. First of all, we have as a choice of the main course mm -hmm. an Arctic char, which is done with a brown butter with capers. It's topped with rapini, and it's done with sweet potato, which is braised with cider. Okay. The other choice is the flat iron steak. We'll yeah. pull this off. Done with a mushroom boulevard, which we're going to be putting together here. Okay. And uh, that is also being put together with uh, roasted root vegetables. Yeah, and good. also a uh, slice of well, uh, Little bit of sake, okay. okay. So, and then what what kind of a meal would this wine go with? I mean, this is going with the Montgomery uh, Place uh, Noir okay. Bouton, which okay. is made actually by Alex, who's a uh, sommelier for French Laundry. Okay. And why would it go with that? I mean, if people at home are trying to get an idea of what you know they should pair their chicken and steak with, why why do you choose this one? The sauce in particular is done with um, a wine similar to this, which is a Meritage wine, okay. Cabernet blend. It's finished with the maritage sauce mm -hmm. and the wine is accompanying it. Okay. It also has mushrooms which pick up the accents and also the root vegetables of the wine. Okay, so it's really, it's all hidden in the sauces probably, right? And yes. the texture of the food. Now, another thing that we talked about is that it doesn't always have to be an expensive bottle of wine. I think people automatically assume if it's a, you know, an expensive dinner, you got to get an expensive bottle of wine, but that's not always the case, right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. how do you determine that? Um, Wine, the best wine that is out there is the wine that you enjoy the most. Okay. And the wine that you enjoy the most is the one that I feel is what's considered to be the best wine. Okay. Absolutely the best wine. Okay. And uh, when you pick a wine, always match it to the food and always just have fun with it. Perfect. It doesn't have to be something expensive. Great. Well, we have some tips, of course, on uh, our screen right now. Um, wine Pairing 101. Now, you guys do this for just $35. What a great deal for our viewers to go out, kind of get an understanding of what how wine pairs with food. Of course, you can do this any day, right? You guys right. are pretty much open, uh, what, five, six days a week? Uh, we're open six days a week. Six days a week, and, okay. And uh, we're open from five to uh, ten every night. Okay, and they can and just kind of come in at perfect time before holiday parties, maybe, if you're still trying to decide, you know, what is it, what am I, what kind of wine am I going to serve with the appetizers and what? Absolutely, so. absolutely. All right, thank you so much for thank being you. here. My pleasure. pleasure to meet you. So, My pleasure, too. Uh, come thank out and you. visit come you in Encinitas, right? Thank you. Everybody. Okay, great. Well, for